What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Molly from Molly World, and yes, I know. Yet again, I am by myself. There's no Shamar with me. That's okay because the miracle's doing something, and I I'm here. I'm here. Don't worry about it. I got you guys. So today we are going to be talking about Kingdom Season Three. If you guys don't know what Kingdom is, it's a great military movie that takes place in China. The main character is Shin. Like he wants to be basically the greatest general of all time and he's actually helping his best friend slash the king of the kingdom. I don't want to say wrong. I don't want to pronounce these names wrong. So the king of his kingdom aka his best friend he's helping him accomplish his dream. Something that no king has done in China for like 500 years. He wants to help him create one combined kingdom so they're going to go and take control over the seven kingdoms that's basically what he wants to do so of course Shin is going to go on this great journey which he has been going on to becoming a great soldier a great leader a great captain to a great commander and now on his way to becoming a great general now like I was saying so far there is one episode that's already out so I'm going to react to the trailer I never got a chance to react to the trailer and I have not watched episode one yet, so I'm going to do the trailer. All right, guys, bear with me. After I do this video, I'll go watch this sh the, the episode. So I actually don't need to watch the anime because I read the manga, so I already know what's going on. So we are going to react to the trailer together, and I'm going to explain to you guys what's going on and what episode one is also going to be about. So this will be a trailer review and also an episode one review. Let's do it. Right now they're talking about the, like, all the kingdoms coming together and they're actually coming to take down their kingdom. Six other kingdoms are coming together. Those are all the kingdoms. Rebuku right there. That man is a G right there. That man right there, you do not play with that boy. He is the man. Oh my goodness, dude. These, this, I'm happy they didn't go with the CG. They could do they could do I'm so happy they didn't pick CG. Oh my god, Osen. Oh that's so many good characters you guys are on this one. Shin, you can actually see Shin is actually growing up. Like you can see the progression of his character. For those that know Kingdom, for those that know Shin, this man has grew up so much from episode one, chapter one, he grew so much. And you can actually see the development in his body and in the design of his character and I'm so happy they, they cut that CG crap out from season one. That was horrible. Season two has some CG in it, but it wasn't a lot of CG. Thing I hope season three does not have no CG in it because that CG was horrible. Like it was worse than what Berserk CG was. It was very bad. Uh, so guys, I want to explain to you what was going on throughout this trailer. So what's going on right now is all the kingdoms, all the surrounding kingdoms are actually going to attack Shin's country. All of the kingdoms, they see their kingdom as a threat. Reason why is because, like I said, the king, he wants to take all of the countries and make them one country. So he wants to take every kingdom and make one connected country, and he's going to rule over it. Like I said, in war, there's no such thing as, hey, man, you're going to come take my kingdom with no pressure. You're not going to just say, hey, let's combine kingdoms and just say, hey, buddy, you're going to be the king. It doesn't work that way. So Ribuku, the guy I was telling you guys about, he is like... A mastermind like he's probably a mastermind when it comes to just strategizing this man is insane the way his mind work is insane those that know this is a little spoiler those that know Osen he's all for himself he's all for himself he's has he's one of the generals that actually have real ambition he's a general but he wants to be past that general Osen is like right now probably the most praised general of all of the generals from the country Shin is from. And Osen, his in-game goal is actually to build his own kingdom. 
He wants his own kingdom. So the only reason that he's helping the kingdom is because he wants to have so much clout and so much fame for it. He can go on and build his own kingdom. And that's how Owison operates. That's how he works. He doesn't just jump head first into anything. And that's what's so great about his character. You will see he's a big, big key to this arc. And Shin, he's a straightforward character. He's a, he's a hard head. He likes to get down. He likes to get his hands dirty. He's one of those characters where you actually see his growth. You see him changing over time. He does, doesn't get to pick up a sword and he becomes the greatest fighter, greatest warrior there is. He actually builds up a group of like rebels. Not even rebels, like just people that no one wanted, you know, because he came from literally the bottom. He went from a five squad commander to a ten squad commander to a hundred squad commander to five hundred thousand. He even moves up to spoiler a twelve thousand rank commander, even higher than the other two kids that you would see in the trailer one with the pink robe and the one with the spear. I can't pronounce the names right now, so bear with me. And in this arc, it's going to be called the Correlation Army arc. All the armies are coming together to make one giant army. So six kingdoms are coming together to take down one kingdom. And Shin and his kingdom, they have to gather all the great commanders and captains and generals to defend their kingdom. And all the royalties, the council, they're all just losing their mind. That's why they was arguing in um, the trailer. They was actually trying to decide, like, why is one kingdom, two, three, four, five? All of these kingdoms are coming to attack us. Why are they coming at us? And the king is like, listen, we have to stand our ground. We have to fight. We cannot allow them to break our will. They're trying to break our will without even breaking our will because they haven't done anything. All they did was raid the kingdom and already they're tripping out about, oh my goodness, we have six kingdoms coming at us from every single side, which is true. And Rebuku, he's smart. He says that. Spoiler, he says it. The first step of beating them is actually making every single army just rush into their kingdom without taking any land, any bases, any castles. They're not doing anything. They're going straight for the, the capital of the kingdom. And Rebuku, this man is so sinister. You will see that he's so calm and laid back. But man, this guy is super sinister. The way he strategized, the way he come up with things, is just insane. So guys, with all that being said, episode one is going to mainly be about the lead up to the Coalition Army. They're just going to explain what happened from the last season to what's going on to right now they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna introduce all of the commanders all of the captains all of the generals they're gonna introduce the, the the enemy kingdoms they're gonna introduce them one by one by one like i said i cannot pronounce these names i am not chinese i try my best better with japanese names so i really 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 like kingdom the manga is just amazing and it's still not stopping it continues and continues and continues to get better if anyone out there has read kingdom you know my friend kingdom is nothing but pure gold and greatness so guys if you're looking for a great anime to watch this season in spring kingdom season three is one of those animes i highly recommend you watch in spring anime and if you have not seen anything of it hurry up go back and binge watch season one and season two we only got one episode out so you got a week to catch up and to watch episode two. All right, guys, that's enough for this video. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know if you've seen episode one. Let me know if you read the manga. Let me know if you've never even seen Kingdom. I can give you guys a little bit more insiders. All right, guys? So don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, guys, it's your boy Molly, and I'm out of here.